Hey everybody, um, welcome back, possibly, although this might be the first video that you're walking, watching, so if that's the case, then, you know, welcome. We're going to go through the check for understanding questions. So this is for the Introduction to Basic Prep. This is Module 0, Building Blocks Intro. So it's not the new version, it's the old one where it kind of tells you to go to Udacity. These are where you can find the quizzes, um, and this is in Software Engineering Basic Prep, but this will apply to Software Engineering Mentor Prep as well. So at the end of each one of these Udacity lessons and some other random stuff, you come back and you do a check for understanding question. And I've been seeing a lot of uh, questions in Slack and other places about this, so I just wanted to give you a quick run through of how they work. So it says two variables will be passed into your code, day and money. Now that's not completely accurate. What, what they mean to say is that you're going to write a function that's going to take two parameters. And parameters inside of functions act very similarly to variables. Uh, for the definition of the function, they're variables. When we call the function, they would actually be given values, and the definition describes what to do with those values. So money and day are variables or parameters at this point, but eventually they will have values. So we want to deal with them as though they are variables. And I've seen a lot of people do variable money is equal to something. Don't do that. What you're going to want to do instead is you want to do a conditional statement around if the day is sunny and money is 20.0 or more. And if that is the case, then we're going to log something to the console. Otherwise, we're going to log serial again. So we have an if statement. And we'll check something in there and do something in the affirmative case. And we'll have an else statement. Now, we know that the else is console.log serial again, period. OK. And then here, they want us to console.log uh, avocado toast for breakfast. So I guess if it's Sunday and you're feeling flush, you go and you have your avocado toast. I've never been able to really get into avocado toast, which is not to say that it's not delicious. Just never gotten into it. Anyway, here's where we're going to do two things. We're going to first check about day and whether it's sunny. So if day triple equals Sunday, sorry, not sunny, Sunday. We're also then going to say and, because that's what the problem describes. We're going to use the and operator, which is two ampersands. We want to check to see if money is greater than or equal to 20.0. So if day is equal to Sunday and money is greater than or equal to 20, we're going to console to log avocado toast for breakfast today. Otherwise, we're going to console to log cereal again. So let's run the tests and we're in good shape. Thanks for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one.